Hello everyone, welcome to Ask the Octane Guys. This week we have received a question from our customers and it was, how can I extract tests, runs and run steps to Excel? So here, yes, it's a very interesting question and um, I also thought, who? that's not going to be an easy one, but Amir told me it is actually possible. So Amir, yeah, can you show us how this is working? So basically what um, your customer wants is basically the information of the test cases which has been executed, including yep. the test result and yes. the test steps, right? The test steps, yeah, exactly. So yeah, exactly. Okay, so basically what you can do is you can make use of the OData protocol okay. um, and use it directly in Excel. So let me copy the OData uh, URL for my uh, machine. So here I have already configured, you will find in the help and we have also playlists where you can uh, view how to configure the URL for OData. Once you have uh, configured it, uh, you go to Excel, to data, get data from other sources, OData feed, and I have already inserted mine, but let's do it again. Press OK, and now um, Excel OData um, Integration will query the Octane resources and will come up with a list of all available resources. Okay. And here, um, the approach would be if you want to, you know, you start always with the lowest level. So when we look here in the question, um, the question is about the test steps, right? Would be the lowest level then. Or exactly, the run, the step. run yeah. steps. Yeah. And from yeah. here, you would then go the hierarchy up to the runs. And from the runs, you go the hierarchy up to the test. So basically, what you would do is you say, OK, I would start with the run steps. This is what I want. Double click it. And Excel will load the designer now. I could potentially refresh, but this will take uh, a couple of minutes, so I will not for now. And here you can see I have all the run steps which has been ever executed in ALM Octane um, in this table yeah, collected. Okay. So I could also remove uh, tables if I don't want like this. I could say I don't want it and uh, remove uh, the table from here. But I will keep those information for now. Okay. And I will go to the right side until I go come to the area where you see the run column. Mm -hmm. And with the run column, you can see that I don't see much information. It says it's a record. Yeah? And on the column itself, you can see there is a button where you can expand the information which is behind it. So I need to click on it. And now we are going one hierarchy above. So from run step, we are going to the run uh, itself. And here I can say, okay, I don't want everything. I just want the ID of the run. I want uh, maybe the name of the run. And if there is a native status, I would take this with me as well. So the status, uh, ID, and uh, name. And one more thing, because I need also uh, go, uh, need to go to a higher level, which is the test level, in order to get test information. So these are the four columns I would take from now. And again, it will query Octane and fetch the data. So it will insert now these additional columns you selected, right? Exactly. So you can see it here. I have those information now here in uh, Excel uh, wizard uh, yeah. with the run ID, run name, run status. Again, status is a record. So maybe I need to expand it. Uh, like I could click on it and say, instead of uh, all the information, just show me the name. Uh, so I would then see if it is passed or failed or what yeah. kind of information is behind the status. And next would be to get also the run.test, which is the test case object itself, and um, extract the information from here. So also here I can say I just need the ID, maybe the name. If you want, you can extract uh, information on the description, the number of the steps, um, if you have any kind of user-defined fields. So all of those information, you can directly then export it from here. And if you want, you can even go further and say you want to have the application modules as well. Click the application yeah. module and they will be expanded as well. Yeah. So once you have done it, all those information, you can extract then into the designer of OData. Okay. And 
And so this is now a functionality of Excel that you're using at the current stage, right? In, in, in combination with all data that is accessing um, Octane. Yes, uh, but we are providing that all data access from Octane. So that's the reason why uh, access, uh, Excel is able to access Octane. Huh? Okay, okay. And once uh, I click on close and load, all the data will be loaded into this sheet. And from here, I can do everything, basically. I can do my pivot table, um, collect and transform the data in the matter I would like to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like the data is loaded. So here you can see all the data which has been loaded to Excel. Yeah, and now you can do whatever you want uh, with this data. I mean, uh, and so this this extract, I can, for example, use it for documentation purposes, right? If I want need some offline uh, information, I mean, I, I could most probably use the document generator from Octane or yes. this, this capability here to, to extract data and information, right? Exactly. And this, in, this is one of the use cases, right? Yeah, and I can also give it to someone for validation or whatever. So this is something I can use in many different ways, I guess. Exactly. And potentially also share some offline dashboards, I guess. If you want, you can uh, use make use of this data and create your, uh, de uh, your graphs directly in Excel. Yeah? And based on your need, you can make use of it. Okay, perfect. No. Okay, then thanks a lot.